I think we've got a particularly exciting program this year. Uh, we've got more world premieres and North American premieres than we've ever had. I think we've got the strongest dramatic competition lineup, which is much more international than it's ever been before. And I think uh, nine really terrific movies and fabulous documentaries, which are being made all over the world now. Uh, I'm very excited about resurrecting this uh, forgotten about giant of South American cinema, Leopoldo Torre Nielsen. Probably the first time his movies have been shown in Los Angeles in, you know, maybe 40 or more years. Um, there's just uh, so much, I think, that's, that's special. And it's exciting that we're starting kind of, for me, in my first year, we've got a new location at LA Live. It's going to feel, I think, we're plugging into that great energy that's downtown. Uh, it's a great sort of campus to be, this, to be the center of the festival, and I think it concentrates the energy. There's, there's a feeling that you get at a film festival that you don't get when you just go off to the movies on a Friday night. Uh, there's a kind of sense of community among the audience, I think, that develops, and people talk to each other and ask each other what they've seen and what do you recommend, and uh, it's, a, it's a great feeling, you know, and uh, I think it's, you know, great for L.A. and it's uh, great for us. The Los Angeles Film Festival is very much behind independent cinema from American independence to all over the world. And, I think it's, it's more important than ever now that like the big studios are just giving us retreads and remakes and the same old, same old. Uh, it's really important to get these new voices and these new visions out there because they're bringing us news that we don't get from the, uh, from the big studios anymore who simply aren't making movies about human beings. You have to be a superhero.